Hi, Sarah Moulton here. Welcome to my kitchen in New York City. I'm so excited to show you the highlights and the secrets. Come on in. So first of all, we need to look down at what I am standing on. I love these mats because, boy, they're so comfortable. It's like a foot massage. Ta-da! I had this special cutting board made, uh, which is just really right my size. And it bonus, it has a little hole so that when I'm chop, chop, chopping, there's maybe something I need to throw out. I just pull out the garbage pail, dump it in, boom, there you go. Isn't that cool? Whoa, you say, that is a lot of weapons. Well, yeah, but I do use them all. I have a serrated knife. This is a bony knife, a serious heavy cleaver. My workhorse is my chef's knife. This is the Japanese style, the top one and this is the German style. Why does such a small person need such a large knife? Because where you do most of your work on your knife is right from here to here. That's the sweet spot. You can get much more done with a large knife. Now it's time to appreciate my coffee corner. The husband and I like different coffees, so we have medium roast beans there and dark roast beans there. I make my coffee in a French press that's the best way I think to make coffee. I'm serious about coffee, can you tell? Favorite tools uh, are my tongs. I have two different ones. I use one for meat and one for vegetables when I'm cooking dinner. This is from my mother-in-law, Esther. We use this a lot. Um, I use it for mashed potatoes, the obvious. I use it for guacamole. When you're making a meat sauce and you're trying to break up that ground meat in the skillet, this is the right tool for the job. Perfect. So these canisters here, the husband picked up in a flea market. Some of my favorite things he gets from flea markets. Here I have um, my mom's kosher salt bowl. It's metal. And my mom was a really good cook. And when I use it, it makes me think of my mom. It's time to go into the gadget drawers. And full disclosure, I am a gadget nerd. This is a can opener that I really like. You lay it flat down and you just twirl it all the way around. And then you see this little Pac-Man-like guy? You swoop in with it, you grab the edge. <laughs> Look, running my hand around the edge. This is a safety opener. Brilliant. Next, these are two of my favorite tools. This one I use for Parmesan cheese. Excellent, makes it all light and fluffy, happens pretty quickly. And this one has much smaller little blades that are much finer. This is used for citrus. This particular one has a little catcher. So then you can just take it out easily and measure it. Here is perhaps my favorite tool in the kitchen. It's known as a giant cake lifter. So I've just chopped up a massive amount of cauliflower. You just pull out your handy cake lifter. Whoop, so easy. These measuring cups. These are from my grandmother, Ruth Moulton, who was my first teacher, a cooking teacher. They're not very well marked on the bottom. I mean, this barely says a third of a cup. I only know because I've used it so much. I love my egg splicer. I don't just use it for eggs. I use it for mushrooms. I use it for strawberries. I use it for cooked potatoes, cooked beets. It's fantastic. Finally, these are onion goggles. They come in several different colors. Uh, and they really do prevent the fumes from getting to your eyes. So if you're an onion soup fan, get a pair of these. It is time to go to my spice cave. So here we are at my pantry. I have my trusty flashlight, which is absolutely essential. That and these graduated shelves really help me because then I can see everything at one fell swoop. Down here I have my spices. I'm very proud of them. I've been trying to branch out. I have my oils and vinegars and lots of salts. It's very confusing. I mainly use kosher salt, so I don't know why I have so many. But finally I got smart and put my different sea salts in there and I labeled them. All right, I have to show you the finale, the most important thing in the kitchen. Everybody needs to have a couple of refrigerator magnets, you know, sort of your mantra. It's my favorite saying by Julia Child. It's a little faded, but I still love it. Never apologize, never explain. I mean, the fact of the matter is people are so glad that you made dinner for them. Don't tell them what you did wrong. You cooked, they didn't. It's great, everything's great. Thank you so much for joining me today for an insider tour of my kitchen.